Police say this is the house a young child escaped from and went to a neighbor's house asking for food and water. They said that that child was severely malnourished along with another one they found inside the same home. Now we talked to neighbors in this area and they said that they don't really know the homeowner of this home very well, but she's in business with a woman who has gained a huge following online with YouTube videos getting hundreds of thousands of views. So being a mom's a full-time job, but popular Utah family vlogger Ruby Frankie was arrested Wednesday. The 41 year old mother of six is known for sharing clips of her children's daily lives on their now defunct YouTube channel, Eight Passengers. Today, she and her business partner, Jody Hildebrand, are accused of abusing some of them. I have my phone away for like days. My bedroom was taken away for seven months and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. I don't think our viewers know that. You've been sleeping on a beanbag. I've been sleeping on a beanbag since October. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave my room back like two weeks ago. Police say a clearly malnourished 12 year old child crawled out of the window of Hildebrand's Ivan's area home. A neighbor called 911 when he showed up at their house asking for food and water. Officers say his wrists were duct taped. He had wounds from being tied up across his body. Investigators say they found a 10 year old girl inside the same house who was also malnourished. Frankie's family vlogs ended without a specific reason given. Frankie now works for the Utah County company Connections, along with Hildebrandt. It's described as a treatment program for those with mental health and addiction issues. Connections has been the subject of a lot of controversy, specifically for its teachings on parenting. Many of Frankie's siblings are also online content creators. Her sisters released a social media statement saying, quote, Ruby was arrested, which needed to happen. Jody was arrested, which needed to happen. The kids are now safe. Frankie's eldest daughter, Sherry, posted this picture on Instagram with the caption, finally. In the next slide, she said her family is glad justice was served. She wrote, quote, we've been trying to tell police and CPS for years about this, end quote. The Santa Clara Ivins Police Department did not provide an update on the children's condition. According to the Washington County Sheriff's Office, Frankie is still in custody. At this point, we know the Santa Clara Ivins Police Department is working with the Springville Police Department on this case. We will continue to bring you updates as we get them both down here in Southern Utah and up in Utah County. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.